Pawtucket today, the target firearms. Local police bringing this back after a hiatus. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Lima has more now from our control room. Julianne. It's been four years since Pawtucket police hosted a gun buyback day. The last time it was done was in 2013 and about five dozen firearms were collected. Guns for gift cards. Pawtucket police say these trade-offs are helping make the community safer. The purpose of the gun buyback is to get guns off the street uh, from law-abiding citizens who no longer want to have the guns in their houses. Major Crime Unit Detective Robert Cardenti says many people aren't sure what to do with guns they don't want anymore. Well, a lot of times they're concerned about having the guns in the houses if they have little children. They don't use the guns anymore. They're just sitting there in storage. They're afraid of maybe somebody breaking into their house and taking those firearms. So this gives them an option to just turn them over to us and make some money on the, at the same time. The gift cards were donated by the Pawtucket City Council and businesses in the city. Within the first hour, seven firearms had already been collected, each with a different gift card value. $50 for a rifle or shotgun, $100 for a pistol or revolver, and $200 for an assault rifle or semi-automatic. Fortunately, we don't have a lot of gun violence in the city of Pawtucket, which is a good thing, and this is just another step in keeping the community safe. Eyewitness News spoke to nearly a dozen people selling their guns. No one wanted to talk on camera, but many said they were happy knowing their unwanted firearms wouldn't end up in the wrong hands. And police say all of the guns collected will be melted down and destroyed. Reporting in the control room, I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News. More